background or his uh, story, um, reason why he did what he did, why he left the party, why he went as far as to uh, get himself killed, um, maybe not purposefully, but to confront his past. Greetings, my friend. It seems, well, it seems we both have come a long way. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me back. These men, they were the men who killed my brother, Lawrence. I had come here tonight to confront my past once and for all. I knew that it would most certainly lead to my own death, but I just couldn't run from it any longer. Yes, it no longer holds any power over me. Before I met you, before I met Joachim, I was very different. I was a criminal, really. An evil man. There's no other way to say it, and I don't mind admitting it to you now. I lived my life like a dead man. Well, at least in the sense that I used to view such things. I cared very little for anything at all. I lived only from moment to moment. No sense of right or wrong. I stole or lied or even killed with no thought for morality or consequence. And the men I associated with were the same way. Such lives feed upon themselves. My family moved to Caledon when I was younger. Lawrence and I were close in our early years, but the life I chose to lead as I grew older was repulsive to him, and we finally had a falling out. At the time, I didn't care. The dead have no family, and remember not their pasts. This place is a place for the walking dead, a place where men gather to feed their darker sides. I knew it well, too well. I spent a lot of time here, time and money. I also gambled with men who make a living doing so, and one night, I lost more money than I had. I was threatened physically when I couldn't pay, but what is pain to dead men? I laughed and bled and spat on them. It was only then that they threatened to kill my brother if I didn't pay. Of course, I thought it was only a threat, and really, in the end, I didn't feel anything about the matter. I'd left all that behind me, or at least that's what I thought. Hold on, I'm going to... Reactivate something. That was supposed to be test. There we go. Okay, cool. Forgot that I had disabled that chat. Alright, now it's re-enabled. Cool. I can't tell you the pain which tore open my very soul when I found Lawrence. Bleeding and broken. The life gone out of him. I cursed myself, and the gods, and everything else I had forsaken, and I ran. I ran so far and so fast that I don't remember anything until I woke up on the doorstep of the Panari Temple, where Joachim took me in. Yes, and doesn't that seem like so very long ago, Virgil? The fuck? I am Elder Joachim. Yes, it is I. I must apologize. I have been so busy trying to find out who is trying to kill you and why that I neglected to consider the fact that you might need my help in other matters. But you are alive, and so I rejoice. I'd heard that Virgil was back in Caledon, alone. I feared the worst, as I knew a little more about his past than you did. I've been searching for him for the past week, and only now did I find him. You've changed much, young Virgil. Yes, Joachim. And I have seen much, but I still remember the lessons you taught me. They have brought me through all of this, even through death itself. I knew from the moment I saw you that you were special somehow, that you were meant for more than the life you left behind. And I see that I was right. The living one could not have chosen a better companion. You will be a powerful ally in the battle to come. Well... Since I left Stillwater, I've been trying to find out if the prophecies say any more about what it is you're supposed to be doing. Unless I've missed something, Aronax hasn't yet returned. What have you found out? Ah, that is quite a tale. You've done very well, and I think your journey is approaching the end. No, I think that you are in capable hands. I am no longer needed here, but I'm sure I can find something to keep me busy. Good luck. May the spirit of Nasruddin be with you and guide your path. 
Farewell. I was just saying that I came here tonight to face my past, and to avenge my brother whom I betrayed. These men were the men who killed him. I knew that I wouldn't survive, but the weight of his death and my cowardice were too much to bear any longer. And here you found me. Yes, of course. Yes, I... Well, I saw Lawrence, you see. I saw him on the other side. We didn't really speak, but I felt that he was at peace, that he held no ill will towards me. That lessened my guilt, allowed me to see that those choices I'd made were made by someone else, another man, and that I had left that man behind. It was, well, peaceful, I suppose. I remember very little. I have memories of a gray place, warm, silent. There was no pain there, no suffering. And I remember feeling that it was boundless. A place that was no place, not a prison nor a punishment, but freedom without end. I did, in a strange way. You've no idea what it's like to let go of everything that constitutes our struggles in this life. Pain, greed, envy, guilt. It's liberating, even in its emptiness. I can honestly say that I wanted to come back, to finish what I'd began with you, but that a small part of me wanted very badly to stay. And I think that I carry that great place with me always, a small piece of death. <laughs> yes, of course. I know you would have, but this was a journey that I had to make myself. <laughs> this all sounds so bloody serious, doesn't it? This wise and introspective gibberish doesn't fit me very well. I'll do my best to put a cap on it. But it has changed me for the better. And I thank you once again. Yes, of course. I do not like to travel with that many people. It makes me uncomfortable. Was there anything else, my... If you need me, I will be meditating outside the Panari Temple here in Caledon. Hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get some gear on Virgil. Something at least. We got any any I'm stuff? Anything? Maybe. That balance sword will be fine. Well, he said he doesn't like to travel with that many people, so it's probably. Good that I get these off of her. Uh, yeah. I mean, she's level forty-eight. I had her for a while. How may well, I help? Not from level, not from her level six, but yeah, still have had her for a while, so. Not like I'm abandoning her or anything. Raven's pretty set. I don't think I want to take her. All right. Let's get Virgil in the group. Hello, my f yes, of course. Oh, yes. Let us continue on. Yeah. Max followers four. Yep. That's it. All right, so what is it that you want of me? Let's see. Put that equipped. Put that on. Put that on. What else here? How may I? Hmm, his magical aptitude is going to be very high, so. I think I'll work on getting Virgil some better equipment, but for right now, this what will have to do. Yeah, this will have to do, sadly. Only because I don't have anything better for him. Me. How may I help you? Me How may I help? Then I will do. What do they add as far as tech to magic? So hers is 100%. His is 65. Virgil's at 13. That's actually surprising. That's really surprising, actually. 
How is he at 13? He didn't learn any crafts. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Aha, uh -huh. well then, Virgil. What is it that you want? You're actually not too bad. You'll do okay with those. Sort of a failure chance, but still decent. Virgil's back, yay! Virgil! Yep. <laughs> I'm definitely happy to happy to have him back. What is it that what type of healing do you want? What is it that you want of me? And I'll get him to equip those. Hell yeah. Alright, cool. How can I help? Hey, hold on to that. There we go. Now we got the appropriate gears. Alrighty. Toss that over there. Toss that there, and there. Trying to organize this just a little bit better. There we go. Cool. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm really hurt, sir. Please help me. His voice changed. The game made him seem less depressing. Um, after this point, he kind of is a lot more positive. What is it that you want of me? There's like a difference in his like I don't know dialogue. It's just uh, yeah, just the way he he talks is different now. It's kind of cool. Gives you the feeling that the game's like changing the like the character building is actually happening, not just some sort of like not just the same. I really love this game for that kind of stuff. Virgil's pretty much like the the best character for this game. Like you're the character that you want to have always. And I think he pretty much follows you no matter what you do. Like no matter what evil thing you do or Yeah, so he's cool. Alright, so well we got that out of the way. Yeah, got Virgil back in the party. Oh wait. What is it that you want of me? Yes, of course. What would you like me to Well, I, I suppose you know best, being what you are. I don't recommend... I see you haven't gone and got... Haha, the... Huh. What is it that you want of me? Yes, of course. You know. What is it that you want... I'm ready to get going when you are. Huh, he doesn't get... He doesn't level up, which is really weird. I'm gonna test something. First, I have to save, though, in order to test this accurately. I'm hoping it didn't break the mod that I have. It's supposed to be a, a mod where it scales the character's levels. But I'm not sure if the game maybe broke it. What is it that you want to... What can I answer for you? What is it that you want... Yes, of course. Well, I... Arc 6. There we go. Oh. He literally just disappears. Um, okay. <laughs> the game just... Whoop! Oh, nope, no Virgil anymore. He's gone. No, he's actually uh, over here, I think. I'm trying to get him to level up whenever I re-invite him to the party. He's supposed to level up, but the game may be bugging out or something, I don't know. Where is he at? He's supposed to be here. That's really weird. Virgil! Where are you, Virgil? He disappeared. That's not good. I have no idea where I can find him now. That's not gonna work. Okay, let's load, uh... Um, yeah, that one. What is it that you want of me? Yes, of course. Well, I... I, I see you. Ha ha. Nah. Huh. The game doesn't do it. It's weird. 
Huh. I'm not sure how to how to take that. How to deal with that. <sighs> it's whatever. It's fine. I'll just deal with it. Oh, we got Virgil back. That's the most important thing. So now I have the three main characters in the party again. And this big lizard dude. I think I'll keep the lizard dude for like forever. So I'll have these four party members. When can I get a fifth one? I have to level up my charisma by four or to even get that. Yeah, it's not. I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> as much as I want another party member, I don't really need another party member. Hmm. How can I help you? What is it that? I'm hoping his speed actually gets improved by all that. There we go. He's still light. Oh, he had none. Huh. Okay. I guess taking away these will help. There we go. And he's still done. Cool. There we go. How can I use weapons to Magnus? Alright. Coolio. Alright. I think I've done enough of tinkering for today. Yay, I got Virgil back though. I forgot that she can even get him back. I thought he was gone permanently. There's a lot of stuff I don't remember from this game. Like, just in general. It's not like I'm going to remember every little detail. For whatever reason, I, I thought Virgil permanently leaves the party. And he just ends up dying and then that's it. And then you're just fucked. Well, not really fucked, but Virgil's just gone. Which would be very sad. Because Virgil's an awesome character. Magnus, I'd be sad if Magnus had died too. Or Raven. Any one of those three. The lizard, lizard dude? Probably not. I'd, I'd probably be just like, War Oman. I'd, I'd probably just be like, ah, well he's dead. <laughs> That's sad. But, eh. Whatever. Um, and Venom Sword. I don't really need that. Okay. I really don't know what to do here. I need to find a dem demonologist for the the murders that are going on. So that's one thing. But I don't know where the demonologist is, so... I don't know. I guess I could go to the church and ask them. Maybe one of them is... No, no none of them are demonologists. So I have no fucking clue. Hmm. This, uh, Museum of Caledon. There's like nobody here. Is there just not supposed to be anybody here? It's confusing. I feel like there's supposed to be somebody also here, but there isn't. Oh, there wasn't. Okay, here we go. That's simple enough. I'm Dan Daniel McPherson, master at trap arming and disarming. Have you perhaps you've heard of my legendary reputation? I own and operate the largest security operation in the kingdom. Even the royal palace is in contract with me. Perhaps you've heard of the notorious J.T. Morgan whose mastery lies in picking a lock? Well, one of my traps was responsible for his capture when he tried to illegally gain entrance to the palace several months ago. I'm the best in the business. So JT Morgan got himself arrested. Good job, master of lock picking. <laughs> Pompous oppressor of thieves, die! <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, okay. Mm. 
Well, I really don't know what to do from here. I don't know where a demonologist is, so I have no idea. I'm trying to think of somebody while I'm walking around. Nothing's coming to mind, though. Honestly, just kind of wasting time here. Because I don't know where to go next. I think I'm going to take a ship to... Um, Hell, I don't even know. Hold on, let me look for... Canum... Demonologist. I'm gonna have to actually look this up. It's bothering me. Just give me a moment. I'm looking up for some guides. I'm not getting anything. I mean, I see some guides and whatnot, but they're not really helping. Or at least I can't. It would require more reading, so it's not going to do well. Okay. Anyways, moving on. So there is something that I can grab, though, that I saw while I was looking at some guides, and now I remember it. Why is he still yellow? That's really weird. That shouldn't be happening, his little marker being yellow. Oh, I see now. The game's fucked up. Okay. Well, it looks like we're resetting the game. I'll be right back. Lovely. I hate when that happens. Alright. I've successfully done nothing for like the past 15 minutes. Let's actually try to get something done. Um, so, to go this way. Even the sound just went dead. Yeah, that was weird. Options, sound, adjust the voice, music down just a little bit. Get the voice up a little high, though. There we go, that'll help. Like that. Alright, so. A moment. I found some people to talk about. Elmer Burr Bottom.
Yay! She'll give us the key now. You can steal the key, but I'm not a dick, so... Is there a right one? Yes and no. There's like an answer that kind of helps more so than others, and then there's, yeah, there's... For persuasion purposes, yes, there's always a right answer. But for just, like, quests and whatnot, it depends. Sometimes there's two right answers, or sometimes there's just, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's just, you're having a conversation with someone, and you pick one choice, and you don't, you can't revert that, that choice. That's just what you went with. And, uh, it could have gone one way or the other, but it didn't really matter in the end. So she sold me the book, which is good. Wait, right, she did sell me the book, right? Um, I just bought the. God damn it! <laughs> okay, well, the game says that she gives me a key, but she didn't give me a key, so either she just lied to me or. Oh, okay, it's that display case, I see. Never mind. I'm thinking of the one that's in there, but never mind. It's this one. Alright, cool. So, got the book. The Book of Durin's Truth. The Iron Clan. So that's up on the left side of the Stonewall range, so... There's the right side, where Terrance is over here-ish, and then to the left side over here, where... We come in from the Roseboro area, which is down here, and Caledon's all the way, like, in this area, so... I just have to go north. And I'll go ahead and hand that book to Magnus, because that's kind of his thing. Okay. Cool. Making some sort of progress, at least. I don't feel completely useless with this. This guy doesn't like anything that I choose. Uh, what? How do you... Just answer the question, Wesley. Who is he? talk to me, huh? Even if I go back to her now. Nothing else that's for her to say to me. It's lovely. Alright. Elmer Burbottom. I think I know what I need to do. And I think I know what I found that is a clue, and I just realized that that's what the clue is. So, I got the book, didn't I? I hope so. Yeah, okay, I have the book. Awesome. Alright, so let's move this key down real quick and just kind of give some space in the inventory. Alright. So let's go northeast. There's a house that I dropped by in, and I didn't realize it was actually a quest thing, and I kind of just put the note back down. But... I'll go grab that note again. 
this is kind of important to know about now. So a good thing to note is that the lights are not on, so daytime is probably the best time, or probably the afternoon is probably the best time to go across the city, considering it's not laggy as hell right now. It's these damn lights, I know it fucking is. Fucking lights whenever they go off are annoying as hell. Make this game lag so much. Ridiculously so much. Like, right now I'm having no issues, but then as soon as there's fire or lights, it's like, what the fuck? Alright. So now I have the note on me. I can do with this note. Encloses the payment we agreed upon. Elmer Burbottom. That's literally all I'm getting. So who the hell is Elmer Burbottom? I'm gonna do a search real quick. Elmer Burbottom. Who is he? Uh... Investigation for Lillian, Lillian Misk. After you've talked to Lillian Misk about the horror of the Dark Elves and her late husband, she will ask to discover who disclosed information that her husband had the book. Neither of the servants will tell you very much. Under the couch of, in the Misk residence, you will find Wesley Carrington's passport. The passport will have Wesley's address. Enter Wesley's house. Go to the Hall of Records in Tarrant and ask the crook where... There for the address of Elmer Burbottom, go to Ashbury and enter the house at 14 Trellis Way. Okay. Well, that gives me a clue. Alright, I know where to go now. Alright, I know exactly what to do now. So I'm not too upset about all this bullshit. And it says they're under the couch is a hey, there's a passport right there. Look at that. Okay. Let's go to Tarant. I said go to Tarant, so let's go to Tarant. Alright, before these lights activate. Well they wouldn't activate. It's still the afternoon. We're still good. Not even the sun hasn't even come out totally yet. Well, it's 10 for 44, so it has definitely come out. Just it's not like super bright or whatever. Afternoon. Hottest day. Or hottest time of day. Uh, let's see. Go to Tarant. Oh. Take the little robot thingy. Where you at, little arachnid dude? There you are. Cool. Okay, Tarrant, passage for five, order to go to Tarrant, thank you. Lag, okay, there we go, cool. All right, let's pull the robot thingy back out, whatever, racking it thing, mechanical, whatever it is. All right, cool, let's go to the records, all the records. Um, I can go over here. Ooh, Tarant University. That'd be close enough. Awesome. All right, the Hall of Records, which is down here. Cool. Just want to kill. 
Cashton, hope we locate an individual. Lawrence Brummond. Elmer Burbottom, thank you. Okay. So. Alright, so. After inquiring about Elmer Burbottom at the Hall of Records in Tarrant, I was given his address in Ashbury, which is 14 Trellis Way. Go back to the Tarantian docks and make my way inside the ship and get the hell back to Caledon. Um, wrong way. So slow. Okay. All right. Taking Caledon, pass for five. Yep, five hundred bucks. Five hundred gold, really. But yeah, awesome. No time at all. Well, very fast. Uh. Please watch yourself. Being hit inadvertently hurts as much as being struck purposely. Sorry, Virgil. That was not intentional. <laughs> okay. So, back to the Misk residence. Oh, no, oh, oh, not Misk. Fuck! Um, damn it. I'm at the wrong place. I need to go to Ashbury. Wasn't even thinking about where I actually need to go. Fuck. Alright. Well, wasted 500 gold. That's all good. No big deal. Go to Ashbury would be a good destination. Yep. Go to Ashbury. Awesome. Alrighty. Talk to this elven trader. He may have some decent stuff. There we go. Gloves of Dexterity. I'll take those. Dorian Amulet. Ah, hold on. I'll wait. All this other stuff, though. I don't need any of any of that. But Virgil can sure as hell use those gloves that I just bought. The rest of this stuff's not that useful. What is it that you First off, hold that for me, will ya, Virgil? Thanks. Second, you can take that. I'll take the gloves. How can I help? Alright. Now we're looking for somebody's house. Twelve Harbor View. That's not what I'm looking for. Ten Harbor View. Also not what I'm looking for. The person I'm looking for should not be alive. One more time. Fourteen Trellis Way. And disappeared. And what happened? I was attacked. I've been wounded. It hurts. Oh god, it hurts. 
I'm Kendrick, Kendrick Wells. Perhaps you've heard of the book I wrote, The Curse of Tissanang. Perhaps this isn't the best time, but I'm looking for Elmer Burbottom. Elmer Burbottom. Seems as involved in something I'm investigating. Listen, friend, I don't have much time. The weapon you used on me, I think it was magical. I can feel the life leaving me even now. I am Elmer Burbottom. Kendrick, well, Kendrick Wells is merely my pen name. I don't think anyone would buy a book by someone named Elmer Burbottom. <laughs> it seems so trivial now. Now it seems the death of Victor, Victor Misk is on my head as well. It seems none of us can escape the curse. Perhaps not even you. Uh. And he dies. As I proceed to search through his house to see if there's anything valuable that he has. Can I revive him? Is there any, any response from when I revive him? Oh. Unusable. Okay, cool. So he's dead dead. <laughs> he ain't come back. Actually, I'm supposed to get this guy's machine plate mail, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm gonna re leave this other stuff in here. Just leave it in his house. I don't think it really matters. There we go. I'm gonna have that stuff. Keep it. I don't want it. Alright. Now I need to go into here. Inside here. I suppose you're wondering what the newspaper's all about. Lawrence Brummond. He was my brother. I told you that he'd been in an accident. Well, you see the kind of accident it was. I... Look, I just don't want to talk about it anymore. It was so long ago. I buried those ghosts. I don't want to let them out again. No! I don't want to speak of it ever again! I'm sorry, Lawrence. So, so sorry. What is it that you want of me? <laughs> okay. Well then. Next, we're gonna murder the fuck out of this thing. Fucking change the turn based. Good show. Perhaps they'll think twice before attacking us again, eh? <laughs> Come on, Magnus. Why are you using that weapon? Your shit, Magnus. What do you need to know? How can I help you? I'll grab that chakram from you. Thank you very much. Damn it, Magnus! You're not supposed to grab oh, random ass weapons. What is it that you want? Take that as well. Go. I actually got the proper fucking setup here. Until he fucking murders the hell out of me. And it's dead. Oh yeah. That took a lot of effort. I mean, I understand the reason why it took a lot of effort. It's a lot of 
It's a very tanky mob. Automatons. Nasty bastards. I guess I could try to disable it. Hold on, I'm gonna try to make a save. Let me see if I can disable it. It's very hard to even do the do so, but it's possible. Now it's too close, I think. I think you have to be a certain distance away to be able to like disable it. Yeah, no, not gonna happen. All right, never mind. You have learned a new schematic. Yay! And I would keep the machine plate, but honestly, I need to return it. Too bad. Alright, let's get out of here. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Here it is. Yay! Didn't give anything. I think it gave me gold, and that was it. Alright, we're done with that. Yay. The robot's gotten a little bit more damage since, uh... That. We've lost five more health. Not really that big of a deal, to be honest. Alright. Time to go back to Caledon. Wrong way. Alright. Damn it. Sable is racked I mean, every little hundred counts, even if it is only a hundred gold. I'm using a lot of gold, just fucking go back and forth. Thanks, dude. Taking all my damn gold. I mean, I prefer this over having to go all the way the fuck around. That'd be a bitch. It's okay, I won't have to pay eventually. I'll be able to go anywhere I want after a certain point. Not quite yet, though. Sword still. How may I help you? All right, okay. Magnus. I need to check your stuff. Take that. Take. I can't grab it. Um. Grab that. So this stuff will just have to wait, I guess. I don't know. I'll grab what I can. Hold on to that. I can grab that too, and this, and this. This will have to wait. There we go. That'll help, I guess. That's about most of them. Okay. See what you can buy. Okay, you'll take that. Cool. Nope, I'll take that. You'll take. Nope, none of the gems, but you'll take that and that. You'll take that and that and that. Good shit. Alright. Let's check the magical shop and all that other shit. See if we'll dagger the, buy the dagger of speed and the Mystic Great Sword. Yeah, I'll take it. Cool. I already have one of these, so I don't really need to sell another one. Minutemen Plate Mail Regeneration. Wow, okay. Alright. Um, yep, there we go. Cool. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, and that, and that. I don't want any of that shit. I'll take 
Scroll of teleportation. Teleport to known locations. Hmm. I'll take one of those. And one of those. Well, I might just need a scroll of teleportation one of these days. Okay. Let's drop that in there. Don't really need that. Great sadness in your eyes, well I suppose you just never know about people, even the ones closest to you. Perhaps there was some justice in his untimely death. Thank you for your help, sir. And what you heard, he was found in his home a few oh, he was found in his home a few days ago. A knife buried in his heart. Perhaps there was something to that curse after all. Well, thank you for your help in the matter. Yay! That's done. Alright, so that's another quest that's down. Actually making progress now. So what? More or less because I'm just curious. <laughs> no, she won't accept it. Well, I guess you do have the opportunity to comfort her, so to speak. Whatever that means. Can, I can guess people can assume. <laughs> Alright. So that's done. Let's see if the orc woman's still mad at me for... I know what to talk, sir. <laughs> oh well. Alright, well that's done, so now that that's been handled with, oh, it's time to head to um, Tarant and uh, well, let's get Virgil some better gear, probably. Other than that, though, um... Head to... There, so that we can get to, um... Gilbert Bates. Because he's gonna want to know about what we've discovered or whatever, and then he'll have us try to track down um, Edward Teach. Well, at least I would assume he'll have us track down Edward Teach. I can't quite remember what he has us do. Let's go to Tarrant University, because that's where my storage is. Actually a very nice spot for storage, to be honest. Very nice spot indeed. Alright. A whole bunch of shit here, but it's not like it isn't useful. Bronze barbarian clothes, huh? Okay, so I could have sworn I had armor here or something equivalent to something good. Oh, there we go. 
Dragon skin leather, or elven chainmail, or that. So let's see which one's better. Or the oil chainmail? Nah, no, that's not gonna be good. Um, Magnus. How can I help you? Can you make Magnus? Nope. Still on the eye gear. And still on dwarven gauntlets. Hell, I might just fucking go for it instead. What is it? Three more points that I have to spend? It's not really that big of a deal. Already went all the way to mechanize Arachnid. What does it matter? Well, speaking of, what about the automatons? How much would they cost to make? Reanimator. There it is. Automaton, Mechanized Arachnid, and Vindegroth Newspaper. I guess it would have been OP if it wasn't that. Okay. <laughs> Vindegroth Newspaper. So yeah, the balance that was made for this game, or that the dude made for this game, um, what is it that you... the stuff he implemented makes it kind of sort of annoying, but it makes sense. 42... Thirty-two, thirty-four, forty. Items too heavy. Okay. All right. Um, first off, let's get this damn mechanized racking it off of me. There we go. <laughs> that still doesn't help. Okay. What is it that you want of me? Let's see your things. All right, he's gonna wear that. That's probably the best for him. 42, or 38, what? Oh, what? <laughs> it said 42, now it says 38. I, I, I don't understand what's going on here. Okay. Yep, 32, 38. Whatever, okay. Um, so, that's good. How may I help? I think I'll keep her with what she has. She's good. What is it that you probably get some better boots for him? <laughs> the top hat. Oh, that's still great. Okay. Um, he can't wear any of that, can he? Doesn't hurt trying, I guess. All right. Um, well, I'm way the fuck down. Probably shouldn't have left. Oh, come on. Alright, cool. Whatever. I'll just have you carry that. Can y'all, like, move out of the way? Thank you. There we go. Alright, I'll take those. Thank you very much. Toss that in there. Actually, I want that elven chainmail back. Hmm. Yeah, the weight's not really that great. I'll take these two, though. And this. Whatever that puts me at. Medium. Okay. So I'll be walking fairly slow. Great. Alrighty. Don't think there's anything else in here that can help me. But Magnus has some stuff that he can store in here. Take all this shit and put it in here. What is it that you want? Hmm. Probably better that he has the still water blade, to be honest. Just toss that balance sword back in there. Was this scroll of dominate will? I think I have a lot of scrolls that are just randomly in here. It's like that stud leather armor. You don't need any of those. All these guard leathers too. <laughs> guard leather, guard leather, guard leather. Hold on, we'll hold on to all that. Large guard leather. Guard leather, guard leather. Holy shit, that's a lot of armor. <laughs> Fuck. Dude's 
carrying a fucking everything. Just everything. It's a shit ton of garbage. Too heavy. How can I help you? What do you need to know? How can I help? Um, some of the stuff, no, you can't sell it. Some of it. I'm gonna try to sell some of this stuff. That's the reason why I'm getting, gathering it all. Or gathering some of it, some of it. Yes, I'm trying to get rid of some of this stuff, pretty much. Throw that boot, those boots in there. Um, a lot of this other stuff is, like, crafting and whatnot. Or other reasons. Just want to hold on to them to hold on to them sometimes. Like some of these are just kind of interesting to keep. But I don't want to actually have them on a character. So I put them in like somewhere like here. Where I can store them without any issues. Somewhere off site. Which includes all this other random junk as well. Which honestly I can probably How take can a lot of these items. I don't have to worry about it. Tannin Rot Bringers Journal, for instance, for instance. I probably need that, and I don't think I need that. Smithy Manuals, I also don't need that in there. Book of Durance Truth. Yeah, so this other stuff's kind of related to quests and whatnot, so I'll keep the rest of this, but these books can be dropped in here. Pro Mine can be dropped in there. Put the top hat in there as well. Pretty sure I have two great helms in here, but I have so much shit that I can't tell. <sighs> yeah. Alright. Well, I think that's enough. Um, cool. Let's get out of here. I think that's an arcane. Oh, no, it's a mystic greatsword. Okay. Doesn't matter. Whatever. So I got what I want on Virgil. That's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to sell some of this stuff. See if I can sell to them, them to anybody. Um, How can I? Help? That'll be on Magnus anyways. But this guy, oh Jesus, he's <laughs> walking really slow. Uh, where is he? I don't think he can even move. <laughs> okay, maybe he'll. There he is. Yep, he can barely move. Damn, okay. Well, I'll take those and that. Thank you very much. Oh, great, I can barely move. God damn it. How can I help you? There's like no way to do this without having everybody lag behind. There we go. <laughs> okay. How can I? Thank you, Magnus. I'll grab your shit now. Nope. But he'll buy that for sure. Okay, I can sell that. I don't really want want that or care to have it. Sort of defense. Yeah, I'll buy that. Is there anything else, dude? Honestly, doesn't look like it. Kind of disappointing, to be honest. Okay. All right, Virgil. Like that. We have a better shield now. Cool. How can I? Let's have Magnus hold onto that one shield. How can I? Or this guy, whichever one. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna try to take away some of this load that he has. He's at medium now, so I think he should be able to run around at least, even with all this stuff on him. I think medium's okay for them. Because what was he at? Significant? Yeah, there you go, significant. So, medium is good. Enough. How can I help you? Magnus is at... moderate. Now he's at medium. 
Still that medium. Good. Alright, cool. Alright. So I need to find somebody to sell the other shit to. Once I figure that out. Still have a bit of gold. Use them wherever I need to use it. Basically, I'm trying to get some money. He doesn't want that, of course. I don't know why I'm thinking about selling that shit to him. Um, he doesn't have anything, does he? Nope. Alright. So that's not the guy we want to talk to. Maybe the normal smith will have something. I haven't really checked the shops around here in Tarant yet. I went directly to my little storage area. So what I'll try to do is sell the guard leather to um, the junk shop. But first I need to actually get the guard leather in my inventory, so there we go. Let us trade. I'll buy those. I guess he has no more money left. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see. So yeah, the studded leather was damaged, so he'll, he will buy it for a less of a price. That makes sense, I guess. Okay. Well then. He didn't, yeah, that's right, he had the com compound bow schematic. Not really that interesting. Bullets. And that's really all he had. Nothing else that's... Okay, cool. Moving on. Alright. Let's see. How can I help you? Carry that for right now. I'm gonna go check the other shops. Fuel and Miracle Cure. I'll pass. Illuminate. Oh, okay, Illuminated de Decoy. Eh, don't really need that. So it looks like it's going to be the Junker that's going to buy it. I'll try one last person, which will be... How can I help? Which will be the uh, Trader, but I'm pretty sure it's just the Junker that'll buy the Guard Leathers. Which is sad, but true. Nope. He will not buy that. Okay. Well then. Guess we're gonna go ahead and sell it to the junker. One sixty eight coins. Ugh, that's gross. All right. What is it that you? Okay. Well. How may I? How can I help? I think we're all set on gear. I don't know why he still has that emerald necklace. <laughs> all right. All right. Cool. Um. Let's buy all our grab all these. Can't grab anymore. Overweight. 68, 168, 168, 168, 168. Cool. What is it that. Nope. What's up, Magnus? And. Nope. Okay, cool. And that is it. I've emptied out everything. Blade of Unholy Fire. <laughs> that thing's badass. It really is. He really is doing well with what, what I gave him. The gear that he has right now. Is, uh, fits is him appropriately. Whereas Virgil... Eh. This gear is alright. He's a bit balanced, so that's probably the reason why his gear is not that great. 
If he was more magical, the magical gears would give him a lot more bonuses. If he was more technological, he would get better bonuses for the speed from the rings that he has on. But she, she's at 100%, so all this shit's at 100% for her. All of it. She is l just fucking good. As far as gear is concerned. Alright. So, took all the guard leather, and I'll go ahead and sell that too. Yay, sold all my guard leathers. It's a bit late for me to sell them, but eh. Never too late to handle stuff. Okay, cool. So, to the main quest. Hold on. I gotta minimize some windows. Cool. Alright. Go talk to Gilbert Bates and get some stuff out of the way. I like how there's like almost no lag right now. It's fucking amazing. I love this. Unlike nighttime where the lights go up and then everything lags. This is glorious. This is how I want it to be all the time. So smooth. Ain't got no worry. No fucking... Well, sort of. It's always... The game itself is always laggy. Tell me what news! Great. <laughs> Thank you for not being useful. Alright, well then. Uh, Gilbert has nothing to say. It was good. Okay, so where the fuck am I supposed to go? I guess I could try to go to Caledon again. Wait about that. map. Uh, let's use the teleport scroll. Here we go. <laughs> Ancient iron device. Huh. So how do we get through here? Um... How can I help you? Let me read the Book of Durance Truth. Search you for the truths of Durin. Do you seek the stone in shape? Then walk the path and know the path. He follows in its wake. Have you found the place of voices? Have you heard the message clear? I think you have. I know you have. For else you'd not be here. The road from here is not much longer. You've traveled far to see this light. Your heart keeps strong, your courage long, the morning will be bright. Now travel to the Vault of Iron, and bring with you the key of glass. The door swings wide, and there inside you'll find your truth at last. The key of glass? What? Okay, let me look at that, let me look at that up. Um... of glass. What does that mean? Ah, okay. I think I have an idea. God, this game is so cryptic with things. Alright, so... Nope. We're gonna use that teleport scroll again, except this time we're gonna go to... Caledon. Alright. I mean, I could have just taken the ship, but... Eh! <laughs> it's whatever. Would have been the same, either way. 43, 43 gold coins? Eh, no big deal. It's whatever. I'll take another scroll, though. For sure. Thanks, woman. Not sure who gives a better deal. 342, 342. What about the dwarf dude? He might give a better deal. I can't remember who or what people give better deals. 338. Well, oh, no. Okay. 342 it is. Whichever one of y'all wants it first.
Thanks. 88, 68 coins? Hmm. I don't know, it's been... It's proven to be alright, but... Still kind of disappointed with it. Small studded leather. It looks so cute. <laughs> hey, Elm Boots. That's actually going to be useful for Virgil. I'll grab those real quick. It's a shame that it's so expensive, but eh, whatever. I'll take that. I don't really need these potions. Scroll of Exiting, Scroll of Exiting, Scroll of Resurrect, Scroll of Teleportation. Okay. There you are, Virgil. Take those boots, thanks. Cool. Alright. Try and sell the chakram. I don't really need that chakram anyways. It's worse than the one I already have, technically speaking. I mean yes, it has a higher a higher maximum damage, but it has also the lowest maximum damage. One to forty eight. That's a very wide range that I'm not very comfortable with. Alrighty, so I need to talk to the guys in here in order to get further with this quest. So time to go this direction. And here comes the lag. Oh lag. Fucking fire. Why does this game have to be? Well, why is the fire? Wait. Do you see that man? The one at the front of the temple? That's Alexander, first acolyte of the Panari Church. I never thought I'd actually lay eyes on him. The man's a living legend. Joaquim used to tell me stories about him. Not a nobler soul in all of Arcanum, it said. And he's a skilled warrior as well. Not the sort you want to tangle with. Now the lag kind of died down at least. Not too bad now. It was terrible when I first walked in. God, that fire is annoying. Wait, is there a chest behind here? What the hell? There is. There's a wood chest right there. What the fuck? Well, I can't get the item from him because he's. <laughs> well, this is uh, unfortunate. Um, the quest is kind of just fucked right now because I can't do anything. Well, <sighs> I need that right there. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> God damn it. The damn game. So close yet so far. Alright, I'll come back later, but for right now I need to go to the Black Root and get Edward Teach. Whatever. Just go back to there. Meh. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and sell what I have on me again this time to somebody else. I think it's this shop up here that sells the, the chakrams.
342 and 68. Cool. Alright. Time to go to Black Root. Although I don't really want to go to Black Root, it is time to go to Black Root. I'll just have to deal with it. What is it that you want? Just hold on to that for me, Virgil. Thank you. I think it's Black Root. I have to find Edward Teach, that's for sure. Black Root. Oh. The ship never goes there. Okay. Wow. Um. Why does? Why do they never go to Black Root? That makes no sense. Huh. Okay. Well. Whatever. Investigation of the remains of Nazarene will lead to conclude that he is not buried in Caledon. The island of Thanatos seems to be the next logical place to look for his remains. Big problem though. I don't have a ship that can take me to Cal uh, to to Thanatos. Hold on, let me talk to the ship captain and see what he says. Like Thanatos, not find any fool enough to take that. Okay, try Black Root. Okay, yeah, cool, awesome. So I'm being told to try Black Root, which that's what I'm using the teleportation scroll with for. Actually, no, never mind. I'm not gonna use it. No, I already used it. <laughs> So, we're gonna need to go to the Black Root. Great, awesome. Got to make a nice little walk over there. Could use the teleportation sc teleportation scroll, but it's not really worth it. Now that I think about it. All right, boil. Awesome. Cool. And there we go. Oop. There we go. Awesome. <sighs> so Black Root, huh? I mean, they said to go to Black Root before. I just forgot about it. Oh. I know what it needs to be done. It's just I forgot the <sighs> the order of things, so to speak. Already. And we're there. And it's nighttime. Lovely. Well, we can still talk to Edward Teach from here, I think. Maybe. I think he's in the bar. Pretty sure he's in the bar. Dice, Captain Killian Drake, my boy. Ask old Teach over there if you want verification of my prowess. <laughs> Orc just okay. Ogre destroyer. <laughs> Fuck. Where's old good old Teach? There he is. Our matey. Uh, okay.
Oh, Jack Skellybones was the pirate, matey. A great pirate who made a drunkard's mistake. One blurry night, old Skelly took a drink of his fair spell and began a ranting and a raving about his adventures across the seas. He was shooting his mouth off about this and that, mind you. He was screaming and yelling how he was the greatest pirate who ever roamed the seas. His crew laughed out loud with their captain as he boasted his greatness. But then he went too far. He said he was even greater than old Stringy Pete himself. Well, his crew should have had the right mind to quiet the, their old captain, you see. There's one thing you just don't speak of. One line even this pirate won't cross. You say and boast what you like, but in every tone and note that leaves your salty lips. With every word that crawls from your mouth, you mentioned one name with anything but the highest respect, and I fear for your soul. Stringy Pete's the name. You best be speaking with respect. Old Skelly Bones didn't. And well, that night, Stringy Pete came a-callin'. His crew was a fearless pack. Even old Edward Teach would cut, can cut his teeth on a Skelly Bones' throat. But that night, no one slept a wink. When Skelly passed out, his crew locked him in his chamber. His loyal sea dogs bolted the door. They were afraid for their old captain. And then the watchmen saw the fog on the horizon. The, boat, the boatsmen turned hard to starboard. But no matter which way they turned, the fog continued to overtake them. When the mist finally hit, the men heard a terrible cry of something out from the murky depths of hell itself. They ran to their captain's chamber, fearing the worst doors were still bolted. They removed the locks and slowly opened the door. They found their captain laying against the wall. His entrails strung out like a spiderweb from, from door to ceiling, or from floor to ceiling. Between old Skellybone's eyes, they found a dagger dripping with blood. On the hilt of the dagger was a carving that every pirate knew too well, a mark to remind them all to be watching their words and paying their own proper respects. It was a mark of Captain Stringy Pete. Blah, blah, blah. character I guess. <laughs> Alright, so I need to actually talk to hmm. Yay I made money off of him. So the thing is do you either lose five hundred gold or you gain five hundred more gold? I think. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Um, where the hell is uh, Teach, though? He's supposed to be here. There's Dante. Who the fuck is Edward Teach? Salty Cedric. Ah. <laughs> How about a game of dice? How about a game of dice? Oh, there he is. Well, well, if it isn't my old friend, and a friendly face is what I need to be seeing. The days have been dark since we last sailed. Or last we sailed, whatever. Um. Lost my boat, went and got too drunk one night, found myself a gambling with Killian Drake, an old sea captain who knows his way around the dice game. He played me, played me a fool, and I lost my boat. Awesome. It's even crazier than wanting to go to the Isle of Despair, but I'm figuring it's important. And I know the way 
It's the way Mr. Bates would want it. I suppose there's a couple of different ways you might get there. One, you could buy a boat from the old shipbuilder here in Blackroot, which ain't cheap. You might be able to get a dice game with old Drake, but he's no rubber leg when it comes to the dice. He's lucky, and he plays for big stakes. A big toss, a toss in with him unless you feel real lucky. And he won't be playing with just anyone. Old Drake knows a gambler when he sees one. I'm a little leery of even mentioning it. It's not something even I would think about, much less spill out of me my blowhole. <laughs> um, did I ever tell you the story of how I came to own the Gypsy sh Shadow? It's just as well as I didn't tell it, but I'll say that it, I ended up with the Gypsy Shadow on account of the most cold-blooded murdering pirate whoever sailed the seas of Arcanum, and his name was Stringy Pete. Well, there's a legend about old Stringy Pete, and I know it to be true. You see, old Pete died more than 200 years ago, but legend has it that he still sails the seas, a haunting those souls who be unlucky enough to run across him. I'm saying I've seen his boat, and I know it to be real. If you could get his boat without getting yourself run through by his ghost, you could have yourself a boat. Cool. Years ago, I found a secret cove, and there, on the beach, was an unmarked grave, an unmarked, unmarked except for a sign of an evil lie, which is the sign of Stringy Pete he used to carve on his victims. I got out of there fast without even looking for the treasure. It could have been the place where he was buried, and if it was, it said most spirits return to their graves. Mark the map for the location of the cove. These looks like you have a few options. Buying, gambling, or stringy peat. I don't like any of them, but good luck. The part of <laughs> as far fetched as the third one is, that's the one I'm gonna be doing. Just hope it works out. Virgil have what is it that you want what type of healing what is it that you want of me okay yeah he has the the uh, arachnid means I can safely go out over here somewhere and just oh if I can find a there we go all right so need to go to string of Pete's Cove it's a nice little walk okay Actually, it's probably better that we... Hmm. Let's see if there's a ship that'll take us to Ashbury, and then that'll be enough to head over. Yeah, Ashbury should be close enough. I know it's really dark, but that's just how this game is. And at night. Alright, so... What's this place? Well, it's locked. That's not really gonna get me anywhere. Alright. Hey, look at that. At least this ship will take me somewhere. Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. Um, I'd like to go to Ashbury. And the passage for five. Awesome. shit's like doubled up. Alright, I'll take 
this. Only because Virgil can use it. What is it that you want? There you go, Virgil. Just drop those boots somewhere in some rubbish bin. Boom. Awesome. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Go straight to String of Pete's Cove. There's lots of shit that I need to do with him. Really? Come on now. There we go. <laughs> yep. Exactly. A robe and a big ass fucking lizard and a little dwarf and some barbarian clothing. Yeah, this, uh, this party is definitely uh, uh, <laughs> an odd one. First off, you would never find a dwarf in barbarian's clothing, for one. Two, you... Well, yeah, I guess you would find an elf in robes, that's for sure, for sure um, common. But you wouldn't find an elf and a dwarf in the same party, that's one thing. They'll think twice before attacking us again, eh? Fucking annoying ass kites. But yeah. <laughs> Just an odd party, is all. Some burrs! Grizzly burr. Dead burr. Smack, smack, smack. And it's dead. Oh, we're getting into the greenery area. Surprising. Thought it was all deserted looking. Oh, great! Wonderful! Don't you just love it when this game fucking bugs out? Oh my god, seriously. This is like enough. <laughs> I've had enough of this game bugging out on me. I'll be right back. Er, I'm gonna refresh the stream, so I'll be right back.